G'day all you top little Aussies, happy Australia Day and welcome to the 2024 Oakberry Sai Country Championships here at Warilla Barrack Point Surf Life Saving Club on the beautiful south coast. Thanks to our hosts and partners including Oakberry, your local club and this would not be possible without the help of Shell Harbour City Council. We have the under 12 male board race been awesome conditions down here Tyler. Oh, it has been amazing you couldn't ask for anything better yeah beautiful day really glassy and a nice little way to um, test the competitors out as they are making their way and then heading back into shore yep so these boys have gone through a semi and we've got a couple of different clubs here we've got Elijah from Byron Bay look out for him Dean from Coogeman one of your blokes Cooper from Tacking Point and another one Billy from Lennox Head here we go, in the starter's hands, set, here we go, the boys are away, okay, off. let's have a look who transfers their speed from the run straight into the board, pretty even at the moment as they start to come into these waves, really interesting to watch these boys here to see how they are able to you know, apply their skills, whether they've got to pop through the waves or roll. Yeah, also negotiate the break. Wurl is known for having a lot of rips and banks, so it'd be interesting to see what their coach has said beforehand, what way to run. I think I saw one of the competitors run to the left from his original starting position. Um, it seems to have paid off. The little bloke on the yellow board there, he um, looks like in third. Local knowledge always helped, but I tell you what, we've got Lennox Head in first, Byron Bay in second. We've got a Kudjan cap then, and even looks like a Jerrygon cap in fourth with another Warilla cap in fifth. So, Lennox definitely setting the pace here. Yep. Arms are going, legs kicking. Got to keep the board moving. Making sure that board is trimming well along the water. And it looks like these top, top few blokes, they're doing the job. They're getting the board moving. Now, I'm sure they're going to be coming up to the can here in a sec. Thinking about what they're going to do in their race. Um, oh, the boys are flying, Simon. Setting a really good pace there. And as you can see now, a couple of the boys jumping in on the wash, which is a skill they're going to have to learn as they get older. Being able to sit on someone's wash and just get a bit of a free ride and then have that explosive power when you turn the can and really start to burn back to the shore is something that they're going to have to learn. As you can see, they've lost touch with the Lennox head competitor in first place, really setting a fast yes. pace. I think it's Lennox, Lennox, Billy Stewart from Lennox. Um, now, he's going to be wanting to look for some runners on the way in, head down, pacing well. Now, these boys just behind them, um, wash riding, they're doing it really well. Get in the wave zone and then head down from there. Just go, go, go. That's right. It's kind of single file at the moment. Just hitting that final can. They're going to start heading back to shore, really looking for those little runners for that bit of an advantage. And I tell you what, Lennox Head, if he gets into that wave zone and picks up a wave, there's going to be no catching him. He's got some really nice skills. Looks like Byron's noticed this. Bit of a lift coming through. Let's see if he can capitalise on these runners and catch up to Lennox. Oh, I think Lennox might have the job done here, Simon. I don't want to speak too early, but he's got <laughs> about two board lengths. Look oh, at this. Look at this. Here we go. Wave. wave on. Pretty fat still in that zone. They haven't quite made it to the to the bank. He's having a bit of a sniff. He knows he's getting close. The other boys oh. at the back, they're having oh. a look too. Oh. Still Paddle fat. Boys. Still fat. It's not quite Paddle. on. Lennox. Lifting the rating. He's up. He's got the speed. And look at that. He's on. Uh, no catching Lennox, Tyler. No, he's off and away. He could throw a claim here if he wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> it is country titles. It is the big leagues for these lads. And he is, he is really raced. A perfect race. But it is on for the minor placing. Second and third. We've got, We've got four. Got four, on this, four on this wave. The boys are up. Who can, who can jump off their board? Go, boys. Oh, boys Kujin. Kujin's up. Kujin. Jerry Gong for third. Oh, is that Sawtell there? I think I'll leave that to the officials. Sawtell or Jerry Gong, not too sure. Here we've got Jerry Gong. Jerry, Jerry Gong, Gong for third place. Hudson. Good Billy work. Stewart from Lennox Head, he's got the win. Dean Argros from Kudjan, second place. And Hudson from Jerry Gong in third. Well, 
girls on the line. They've gone through a semi just like the boys. Couple to watch, we've got a couple from Blackhead, we've got Ella, we've got the two girls from Wurla Barrack Point, Coco and Adele. Mate, we've got a few from Browley as well, Alexis and Emma, so let's see. Really are a, a beachy club, but got a couple of girls in the final here for the under 12 board. Yeah, starter's got them in their hands. One thing I really like to, to look at is often the girls at this age can be stronger paddlers than the boys. Yes. And uh, when we get into the board relays, we'll see them come together and, and often you'll see the girls just, just dominating the boys. So, interesting age for the nippers. Ooh, Couple of girls there really transferring their speed from their run straight into the board paddling, looking nice. Really important, you want to see their rating up really high to get through the break. It's where they want to put in maximum effort. Looks like we've got Lennox out in front. Yeah, Slenix in front. That way has really sorted them out. Those two Wurla girls sitting back in about fourth and seventh there. Um, but Lennox motoring. And then, like we were talking before, Simon, with a couple of the other age groups, wash riding. These girls, the coaches have got it into them. Wash ride. It's a long race. Yeah, that's right. And look, Lennox again, pushing out hard. Possibly Will Gulga or Byron there in second place. Hard to make out on this shot from the drone. Shots have been awesome. Pilots have been getting some excellent footage. So here we go. Here they go. Coming up with swim cans now. They'd be... This girl from Lennox, she'd be... As we saw with the boys earlier, the just got to execute the race. Put their head down and just go. Yeah, that's right. And they've broken away from third place. Bit of a gap then back to fourth and fifth. So getting to the apex can, which is when it when it really turns on. Like you can sort of get yourself into a bit of a cruise mode getting to this can. Once you turn, it's really time to put the hammer down and get yourself back into that wave zone, which is where you start to make your own luck. Yeah, yep. So into that can, picking up the rate a little bit and then aim for the swim cans. Once you get to the swim cans, she's got to be flying she needs to get to that wave zone as quick as she can looks like blackhead is sitting on the tail of lennox now she's put the head down and she knows that the business end of the race is coming up simon certainly is amy roberts from lennox head set the pace the whole way we've got sawtell sitting there in third but this is where it's going to happen tyler mate they're, yeah. they're heading back waves will start to pick up That's a few it. little lifts Really want to see them pick up their rating to try and make the most of these little runners. That's it. At the moment, I think we've got a race in two, unless the jag is on. Well, still got a bit of work to do. Looks like Ella has got a little bit of a lift there. Still keeping in touch with Lennox Head. Look at this one coming through. I've spoken too soon. I don't think it's going to be quite enough for them to get onto these waves. It won't be long. Nice little lift there, Ella oh, from Blackhead. Lennox, Lennox on. Lennox, Lennox has picked up the rate. Lennox, she's going to take this. She's committed. She got a sniff and she's on. Really well paddled. Lennox head doing plenty right up there. Amy Roberts, well done. No catching it out. Done it in, in style. Let's see who's up for second place. Yeah, Sawtell. Sawtell and Blackhead. Who's getting second? Who's getting third? That's Ella and Mia. Clean dismount. Sawtell with a clean dismount. Oh. Really nice. Really nice. And Blackhead finishing strong. Sawtell. Oh, Damn. That was, that was close. I, I think it looks like Sawtell have got it. Jerry Gong picking up a four. Jerry Gong and Blackhead finishing it off. So nice work by the girls. Okay, we're down here with the winner of the under 12 female board race. What's your name and club, darling? Amy Roberts from Lennox. Lennox, you've both you've taken out the male and the female. You must have some fantastic coaches up there. Yeah, they're so good. They're the best. And we're going to have a shout out to anyone there? Um, Sam, Miller, Brendo, my mum and my dad. Fantastic effort. Well done. Congratulations. Here's your winner of the under 12 board race competitor. Well done. We've got the under 11 girls on the line now. Multiple caps, just like before. Uh, we've got Delilah, Blackhead, Isla from Rulabarrick Point. 
Audrey Browley and Tali Blackhead. Let's keep an eye out on her. Awesome. And so the under 11s, this is their first year on their fiberglass boards. So a bit of a step up from the foamies. The boards are a little bit more high performance. Looks like they've got a clean start. Starter's done a really good job on this, getting them into the water. We, that's a good point, mate. The starters, they feel a lot of pressure. They oh, really they want to get their, their competitors off to an even start. But it's I love to watch the girls that can really transfer their speed from the run into their entry into the water. It's just so important to set up your race. Yes. And I tell you what, it's all about practice. It's going down on the beach in the afternoon, staying a bit after training. Um, Starts gotta, and finishes, mate. That's it. you gotta, you got to learn them and you got to nail them. And look out in front, Blackhead again. Really, really, I, I think Blackhead have got good momentum at the moment. We've got a lot of water swimming and board competitors from Blackhead doing really well. Sawtell again. It looks like Lennox head there in third. Putting in the hard ones from Blackhead. She That's she it. wants this. She's raiding, raiding fast. Brow Lee too from Brow Lee. Um, they're making moves as well up the outside. And look, as you can see... We are talking about before, onto the fiberglass boards. This is their first year moving from the foamies, you know, the, the comfort and safety of the foamies, onto these boards, which are, which are higher speed, higher performance. See, and a lot less forgiving. Um, yeah. Talking about starts and finishes before, you don't want to be sliding off and going facing first into the board. I've done that before. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Tully from Blackhead has just run this race perfectly. She's been able to pull a gap on Sawtell so no one can get on her wash, which is really what you want to do because there often comes a time in the race where your effort will not determine your place in the race. That's it. Surf is unforgiving. You want to have as much space between you and the person behind you at all times. And if you can take advantage of that, you take advantage of that. Lennox is hitting the swim cans now and she's got about four board lengths. She's hitting the way zone. Let's see if she can pick one up. So we've got Blackhead, Sawtell, and Browley, followed by Lennox Head in fourth. She'd be looking for a wave there to get the jag, but geez, damn, look at the rating on Tully from Blackhead. Really not, doesn't want to leave it to chance. She hasn't given up. She's moving. She's moving. Certainly is moving. It really looks like it's going to be a race for second and third between Sawtell and Browley. Lennox Head having a bit of a look back there in fourth place. Nothing much on offer. Blackhead knows this is her chance. She's really putting it in now as she's getting close to that wave zone. She can feel the medal. She can feel the medal. She can feel the glory. She's just got to get <laughs> home. She's just got to get home, Simon. Look, mate, I'm looking at Brow Lee here. Kept in touch with second place the whole way. Having a bit of a look. There is a wave. There's a wave. Pick up the rating and go. Head down. She's oh. been able to catch up a bit, but look at that. Sawtell has been put in the work as well. Look at this. Blackhead. Blackhead on. No stopping her now. Sign sealed and delivered. She's got the win. Tully, Blackhead. Now, we've got a race for second. We've got a race for second. Sawtell. She's looking behind. you just got to have your head straight. You should be able to feel the wave come behind you. Sawtell can feel Browley. Breathing down her neck. Ooh. Lennox has picked up the little, the little wave there. So, second place. It's in three. Sawtell has fallen off the back. It's Lennox. Who's getting second? It's Blackhead. Get out of it. Oh. Lennox Head, that is too close. I don't know what I don't know what there. We're gonna leave that one to the judges. Great race by the girls. Really? Under 11. Second, Audrey. Hindi. Lennox. Good there, work, you, girls. there you go. So Brow Lee with the silver medal. Blackhead with the gold. And Lennox Head with the third place. We've got the 14 boys on the line for a start in the iron. Well done, boys, getting to the final. We've got some local boys here. We've got Isaac from Shell Harbour. We've got Zane, the teammate, Shell Harbour, and James, or the us boys call him, Jimmy from Wurlabarak Point. And your boys, Jack, Kujan, um, and Luke from Lennox. We've got George, Sawtell, and Louis from Browley. Boys now getting into the break. So the, these fellas are starting to, you know, they're, they're, gr they're growing up. They're getting stronger. It's the first year on the 10 and a half foot racing males, yep. which is a big step. Yep. The racing needs to mature. So they've got to be thinking about everything, thinking about how they're going to negotiate 
the waves don't think thinking how they're going to race their race now some of these boys they might be strong swimmers what you'll notice compared to a surf race to an iron race these boys they're not going to be going as fast as normal surf race mm. surf race very fast sprint get mm. around the cans they've got to conserve a bit in they've got to think about their next leg as well so let's get in that front pack sit in the front pack and then make that move when they get around the can and this is the other important thing mate is actually keeping an eye on the can keeping your track so you're not zigzagging your way out wasting energy so around the cans tactics around the cans is another big thing when you get to this age because there are no friends at the cans no there are no friends um Looks like these boys, have, they're all picking the same line. We've got Whirler out in front. It looks like Jimmy. Jimmy's leading the way. Sawtell in second, and that is that is our man. That is my man, Jack Cross, captain of Cudgeon Surf Club in third place. So Jimmy's making a move. The bigger arms powering in. He's done that a lot of times on this beach this season. Trying to break away from Sawtell, get a bit of a gap. You want that. It's nice to come out of the water, look back, and no one's on the same wave as you. And then moving into that second leg. The swim really sets you up for a good race, doesn't it? You can get such a, a big gap in that swim. Yes. If all the little ones out there, if you want to be an Ironman, you have to be a good swimmer. So here we go. Waves on little lift for Warilla there. Not quite enough. He knows that this next wave that comes through... He's probably going to pick up. Look at this. He's powering through. Has he stooged himself? Has he moved too far in front? Oh, Looks like he's going to get this little double up. He's on it. The skills. Oh, slipped off. Into the gutter there. The waves died off, but he's able to just keep on swimming. This is an important part. Actually getting from the deep water onto the sandbank. It's, it's actually a skill that doesn't really get spoken enough about. You've got to keep swimming until you are sure that you can get up and run. Because if you lift your head, try and touch, you slow yourself right down to a complete stop. Jack Cross onto a little wave here. He's been able to catch up to Sawtell. This is what I'm talking about. Couple of dolphin dives. The boys have executed that really well and straight up into the run. Up into the transition. Oh, Warrilla around the flags. He's got a bit of a lead on into the board. That is a proper lead. They're going to have to do some work to catch him. Cudgeon and Sawtell chasing down Warrilla. Warrilla onto his board. He's real. He needs to move now. Let's he cannot this. sit back and yeah, relax. Let's see the start. He pops on all his belly. He can serve some energy. He's got one more. Jack Cross knows he's got to put in the work here. You can catch up so much on your transition from the sand into the water. And look at what they've done. Warilla had a great gap. The boys have reeled him in. Let's see what he does now. Is he going to sit back, jump on the wash, conserve energy around the cans? Or is he going to go for a lead? Well... I love watching this too. You see the boys transitioning from the prone position to on their knees, which can be seen as a little bit of a mistake. The big lads, they will get on their knees and they will hold it all the way to the cans. Just showing a little bit of an inexperience there, but you know what? They haven't built the strength up in their legs that the opens have got, but you can see the tactics falling into play already. These under 14s, no, they've got to keep in touch with Warilla Barrack Point. That's it. He's not going to let him go. Jimmy, he's doing well. The rate's up. The legs are kicking. He's looking for that can. I'm sure he can smell gold. And he have a look at this. It. Have a look at this, Tyler. Jack Cross is basically towing Sawtell in to catch up to Warilla. That's it. When we talk about wash riding, prime example, you can slow your rate down probably to 70% mm. and just sit on the back and then put in the effort when it matters most yep. coming on the way home on those runners. Yep. It's going to be interesting to see what Sawtell has here because he, he has got a bit of a toe there from Jack Cross. Look at the boys. They are reeling in Warilla. He'd be feeling this too. He'd, he'd know. Oh, you, You'd be here in the water splash behind you. The pressure... Jack Cross really doing well. So he has now been able to power in and jump on the wash of Warilla, but they're not going to be happy to sit on their wash once they turn that can. No. They're going to want to pick their own line. No. Between now and the swim cans, you've got to be making Jack that Cross. move. Jack Cross. And he is. He's making that move. Good pick lift. Line, go to the runners, and it's your race if you want it. Neck and neck. He's up on his knees. You are a better paddler on your knees. For all you nippers out there, you're able to use more muscle groups to actually put in the power to get your board home to get that win oh it's neck and neck simon yeah you neck bet it is you bet it is neck. this is a classic kujan warilla battle right here 
the boys know this. They they can feel the pressure from their whole team because that's what country's about. That's it. We've got to wave. Wave. Sawtell. Wave on. Sawtell, is he going to get it? Sawtell's on. This is it. Big time. On, Big Jimmy. pressure time. Lift, Jack Jimmy. Cross. He's on. Oh. Warilla's gone. <laughs> it's Sawtell. It's Kudjan. Here we go. This is what we're talking about. Getting onto the beach. The boys are on. Now we've got a sprint finish. Now a lot of people, they miss out... The third leg of a nine, it's a run. And the he, boys are definitely they're on. They're going to learn right now. Who's going to get up? They're going to ditch your board, boys. Run, sprint, do whatever you got to do. Jack Cross from Kudjan, he's in first. Has he broken Sawtell? I think he has. Sawtell cannot catch him. Jack Cross, captain of Kudjan Head Surf Club, in for the win at the Country Champs. Yes. Oak Ferry, Country Champs. Awesome stuff. Jack O Cross. And Warilla coming in for the third place there. Unfortunate for the lad because he really set the pace. Yes. Had a great swim. Just couldn't execute it in the end. Raced well, but pipped, pipped to the line by Gudgeon. He'll remember that one and he'll come back stronger, bigger and better for 2025. Jack Cross, I just won the Iron Man and I'm from Kudjan. I love the Iron Man. They're cool and got a gold in that. I just love it. Yeah, just training hard for staying Aussies, putting 100% in and everything.